Hi, and welcome to Perpetual Fitness Training. My name is Holly. Thank you for joining me today. This yoga session, we're going to have a lunar flow. So a lunar is exactly kind of what you think. It's opposite of a solar. Solar yoga is sun salutations. It's meant to bring heat into the body to start your day. Lunar yoga is more about settling the body, maybe something you do before you go to bed. If you're feeling overstimulated or your body has had a, like a really big workout yesterday and you're super sore and you just don't have the energy for a full workout, lunar yoga is a great solution to any of those issues you may have. It's meant to bring center back to your body, to bring calmness to the body. Um, it's great to do before you go to bed if you have trouble sleeping. It's also something good to do like today. I'm having an allergy flare up and I'm, I'm kind of struggling with my breathing. I don't want to risk having a asthma attack. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do this yoga session for my workout today. Um, there's really not a lot you need with a lunar yoga session. It tends to be very quiet. Um, but of course, a block or a strap to have nearby, just in case, a nice soft place to do the yoga, whether it's on a mat or if you have carpeting, making sure you have a nice quiet room, maybe turn the lights off or dim the lights down, some aromatherapy, nice quiet music I always recommend. I love Yellow Brick um, Cinemas. They do a great job with some nice nice quiet yoga music that'll help get you in the right frame of mind. It's meant to bring calmness to the body, to relieve any stress. In this next little bit of time, I want you to let go of any stress or tension that your body may be feeling. Let go of whatever is weighing you down. You can take that luggage off your shoulders for right now. It will be there when we're finished. But for now, this is, this is about you. This is help bringing some centered and balance into the body. So go ahead and grab your equipment, get that music on, dim those lights, and let's go ahead and begin. All right, let's go ahead and begin. We're going to start at the very front of our mat. We're going to turn into mountain pose. So feet hip width apart. You have just a little tiny bend to the knees just to let blood flow. I want you to tuck that tailbone slightly, keep that tummy nice and tall, uh, nice and tight. Lift your heart, roll your shoulders up back and down. Palms are forward. There's space between your chin and chest. Close those eyes and just think about your breathing. Closing the mouth, bring the air in through the nose and exhale through the nose. Now, as you start that breath, I want you to think about bringing that breath deeper. Pull it into the very bottom of the lung. And as you exhale, think about driving all that stale air out from the very bottom of your lung. Now, I want you to go a little deeper. Let's bring it down even deeper into the lung. As you exhale, push more air out, keeping that face relaxed, focusing only on that breath. And now for these last few breaths, I want you to bring the air all the way to the belly. Feel that belly rise. Use the strength in your belly now to push that air out, flattening the belly again. One more time. This time as you exhale, I want you to relax through the shoulders. Go back to being conscious of your breath, but breathing more regularly. Relax the muscles through the face, releasing any expression from the forehead, any tension around the eyes, relax the jaw. If it bothers you to close those eyes, if it bothers your balance, you can do this with those eyes open. We're gonna take a nice big inhale. We're gonna lift those arms up. We're gonna take those arms toward the ceiling. Open up those eyes, reach up, hold, and exhale. Now I want you to take those hands and rest them on the low back. So it can be palms against the low back. It can be fists, whatever's comfortable for you. 
I'm gonna do palms down. You're gonna squeeze your blades, lift your heart. I want you to lift that heart toward the ceiling as you start to come back, arching through the back. Let that head just drop. Inhale, let's take it up. Belly's tight. And then exhale, I want you to slowly come forward. Hands to the body, round your back. Coming into forward fold, but in this forward fold, I want you to bend your knees. This is more about the back. Settle down in, relaxing, hold. Hands can be on the block if they need to be. Big inhale. As you exhale, press through those feet, slowly come up. Your hands can be on those legs to help that low back. At the top, of give me a shoulder roll. We're gonna repeat that series. Big inhale, reaching up. Reach for the ceiling, shoulders drop to the floor. Take that head back, lift your heart, arch your back, hands stay. Taking them, if you need to, behind again. Or if you want a little more challenge, those arms can stay up. I'm gonna demonstrate from here. Maybe we'll do fists this time. Squeeze, press those hips forward, let that head drop. Belly tightens as you come up, nice and slow, coming forward. Make sure that you have those hands to the body. You'll feel that low back, release, bend the knees, sink down into the stretch. Just give me a little shimmy. And then heavy, just draping your body over those legs, staying through the center of the foot. Now we're going to go ahead and step back with that right foot. So big step back with the right. And I want you to continue to drop the knee all the way down. So we're in a modified or a low lunge. Sink those hips down. Hands can be on either side or you can take them together to the inside. You also have the option of using that block or even being up on the thigh. But the hips are, are dropping toward the floor. The shoulders are relaxed no matter where you are. The belly's nice and tight. Maybe sink just a little bit deeper, opening up through that hip joint. Take a nice big inhale. On the exhale, we're going to let this right knee open up. So I'm going to move my arm out of the way. I'm going to bring it to the center and then I'm going to roll open onto that pinky toe and just let gravity Grab my knee and bring it toward the floor and I'm just pushing the hips down, letting that knee open naturally. I'm not forcing anything. Just relax through the shoulders. And now we're just gonna do an open twist. So you're gonna take the right hand to the floor, the left hand, you're going to look to that left. You're gonna reach that arm up as you continue to press the hips down, letting that left knee open up, shoulder blades down, hold. Let's go ahead and place that hand back and then we bring that knee up and let's go ahead and bring this foot back. Extend it all the way behind you, just release it. And now to that other side, so let's go ahead and bring that other leg forward, that right leg forward. I want you to sink down, shoulders relaxed, tummy's nice and tight. Finding the place you would like your hand. Pressing the hips down, shoulders release. Hold here. Breathe nice and slow. Try to let the mind quiet. You start thinking about all the things you have to do today. I want you to bring your focus back to your breath. Think about it coming in through the lungs, filling up the belly, slowly and in control, coming out through the lungs, relaxing the shoulders. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up that knee. Just let it drop to the side as you press your hips toward the floor, rolling onto that right baby toe or pinky toe. Hold here, you'll feel the hip opening, maybe a stretch through that shin. Now 
Now we're gonna place that left hand down. We're gonna reach up, we're gonna open, reaching the hand toward the ceiling, dropping the hips, hold. You can, of course, keep the hand to the hip if that's better for you. One more set of breath, big inhale. Exhale, coming back with the hands, lifting the knee, taking the hips back, and just take that leg all the way back, pressing through the heel. Both knees down. Let's go ahead and sit back into child's if you need a block. It can be placed between the calf and the thigh. Or just sink back as low as you can. Arms are extended. They can also come back by the arches to help relax through the shoulders. Listen to your body. Only do what your body will let you. Don't worry if you can't get the glutes all the way down. Think about that breath. Inhale, we're gonna gently come on up. Moving into tabletop, dropping that belly, looking up, big inhale. Nice and slow with the movement. Exhale, tuck and round. Inhale, drop. Really drop that belly down. Exhale, tuck and round. One more time, inhale. Exhale. And coming back to the center. I'm gonna take my left foot forward. We're gonna open up into a standing straddle. So from here, go ahead and come up into lunge. We're gonna rotate now to the right, but you do whatever you need to do in order to be able to see me. I want those legs nice and wide. So you're opening up, pressing through those pinky toes, letting the hands come to the center. You can have your block here if you need to. And just drop that head. And I want you to just give it a little shake. Shake it out, relax it, release it. Maybe you can sink a little deeper. Maybe you can take the forearms to the block. Maybe you have the flexibility to get the forearms to the floor. Relax it down and just completely release any tension through that upper body. You're relaxing through those shoulders. Think about rolling out through the side ankle here, stretching out the muscles there. Two more sets of breath, big inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. All right, we're gonna do a gentle twist so you can keep the block here if you need to. Or go ahead and take that right hand down, left hand, left hip. We are gonna drop the right hip and the right shoulder. We're gonna pull back on that left shoulder and we're just trying to look up at the ceiling. Now, if you can't quite make it, you're gonna to look to the side. If you can get that rotation, then you can extend that arm up, but please don't feel like you have to. Make sure this is comfortable, that you can hold it for a few breaths and that your alignment is perfect. One more set of breath, big inhale. Exhale, come on down. And now we're gonna move to that other side. So the left hand is gonna come into the center, adjust the feet if you need to. Right hand to that right hip, drop that left shoulder, drop that left hip, turn, pull back, tummy tight, hold. And then if you can, you can continue on. I'm actually really tight on this side today, so I'm going to stay here. I'm going to work on rotating that right shoulder back. Tummy's nice and tight. If you get any cramping through the side waist, you're twisting too much, release it and be more gentle in that twist. Coming back to the center, let that crown drop again, heavy through the upper body. 
Maybe now you've opened up a little bit and you can go a little bit lower. Relax it down. Staying through the center of the foot. Yeah, gently coming up. All right, we're gonna rotate, so we're coming back to the front of the mat. You'll be in a really wide runner's lunge. Just drop that knee down, drag that front foot back. And then I like to just extend my legs back and a little stretch here. Coming back into tabletop. We're gonna walk those hands out. I want you to keep this alignment between the knee and the hip so you're not coming back with the hips and you're not dropping too far forward. The hips stay right over those knees. You're walking the hands out and you're just dropping that chest down. Getting the forehead to touch, pushing the chest down, reaching the hands out. You can come up on the fingertips and really stretch out. And what I want you to think about is actually touching the chest to the floor. Keeping those hips high, stretching near those shoulder blades. That's where you're going to feel this. If you can get the, ch the chest to actually touch, then it is chin to the floor. As long as there's no pain through that neck. Relax it down. Focus on that breath. Think about pushing the chest a little bit more, reaching those fingertips out a little farther. One more set of breath, big inhale. Exhale, belly tight, come on up, slowly bring it back in, nice and easy, nice and slow. All right, we're going to thread the needle, so we're going to take this left hand behind the right. We're going to walk the left hand out as we drop the left shoulder toward the floor, letting the head just drop down. The right hand is right next to you, and you're just pressing, holding here. If this is good, stay here. If you can go a little further, you're going to press with that right hand and just start to look over that right shoulder. Hold. When you feel the pull, this will be through the spine, keeping that tummy tight. Maybe you'll feel it mostly in the shoulder. Wherever you feel it, just close your eyes and focus your breathing onto that spot. Releasing any tension, not holding that muscle tight. One more inhale. On the exhale, tighten your belly and gently come up. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So let's go ahead and take the right behind the left. Walking that right hand out, drop that right shoulder down. Keep walking that right hand out until it can't go anymore. Relax the head, left hand to the floor, staying here, opening, looking up over that shoulder if you can. Hold and breathe, relaxing the shoulders. Bringing your breath to any tight muscle that you feel. Relaxing the muscles in the face. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, gently come on up. All right, we're gonna move down into a cobra position. So we're gonna just walk those legs out and just slowly sink that body down. 
hands on either side. Let's go ahead and first just come up into pyramid. So on the forms, lifting the heart, shoulders down. If this is a more comfortable position for you, I want you to stay right here. If you can, you're going to come back down, hands next to the chest, and I want you to lift. Shoulders relax. Maybe it's more comfortable if you take those hands out a little bit. Shoulders down, pressing the hips into the mat. And then just gently come on back down. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, pressing up again, shoulder blades down. Now maybe this time we can look over that right shoulder. Just give me a little twist. Coming back to the center, inhale, exhale, slowly down. Big inhale, exhale, lifting up, shoulders relax. Make sure there's no pain through that low back. Use that modifier, that sphinx pose. And then maybe you wanna go ahead and look over that other shoulder. Breathe. Coming back to the center and slowly down. We're going to roll over onto our back. So nice and easy, just where you are, coming onto the back. I want you to bring those knees into the chest and let's just get that counter stretch to that back work. Pull the knees and shoulders relaxed, tummies nice and tight. And then maybe you'd like to rock side to side, elbow to elbow. Coming back to the center, I want you to drop that low back down and just move side to side on that low back. Should feel good. Back to the center, let's take those feet down. We're gonna cross the right ankle over that left knee and just press that right knee open. I want you to bring those legs toward the body, grabbing a hold of the thigh, or if you can, the calf. Pull those legs and shoulders drop, flexing both feet. And just hold here. And then go ahead and just release the feet. Relax any tension through the hips. Think about letting the tailbone drop. Deep inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna release that uh, foot to the floor. We're gonna take the arms out to the side in the letter T. We are gonna now drop this right foot toward that left side, keeping that right shoulder down. When you can't move anymore, you can go ahead and take your gaze to that right. If you need to, you can place a block underneath this right foot so that you can completely relax into the stretch. I want you to hold no tension through that low back. Feel that low back release. Head back to the center, tummy tight, lift those legs. And now release. Let's go ahead to that other side. So now we're going to bring the left foot to the right, press that left knee away. Let's go ahead and grab the thigh or the shin, pull it in, flexing both feet, shoulders relax. And now relax the feet, relax the tailbone. It won't drop to the floor, but I want you to imagine that it's dropping toward the floor. Just releasing any tension through that pelvic floor.
let's go ahead and release that foot down, arms out to the letter T. And now we're gonna take that left foot to the right side. We're keeping that left shoulder down. We're just gonna gaze to the left. Hold, relax. There's no tension through the fingers. Relaxing the low back. Just breathe. One more set of breath, big inhale, big exhale, inhale. On this exhale, head center, tummy tight. Let's go ahead and lift those legs up and release. I want you to come down into your Shavasana, whichever position works for you, whether it's traditional knees bent to help that low back out, or maybe you just want to be on your side making sure that you're comfortable. If you're in traditional, you can just use those heels to straighten that spine up. Let those hips open, those legs are open naturally through that hip joint. Take those shoulders down, the palms facing either up or toward the body, just so those fingertips can curl into the palm, relaxing each finger. Closing those eyes, think about letting that jaw relax. There's no tension through the face. You're relaxing the muscles around the eyes and the temples, feeling the heaviness in your body. I want you to focus only on that breath, feeling that air pull in all the way to your belly and exhaling all of that stale air. Do that two more times. With that body relaxed, going back to your regular breath. You can take more deep breaths if you'd like, if you need that relaxation. You be the judge, feel that body relax, feel the tension just melt away. Closing those eyes, falling deeper into the mat. I want you to stay here as long as you need to. taking as much time as you need. And namaste.